Hi Libra friends, how are you guys? Thanks for joining me today on my channel. Um, thanks for the love and support you've shown thus far, for checking out your monthlies and the love readings I posted. Today we're just going to do a general intuitive reading for you. It's not necessarily based on career or love, we're just going to take the cards as they present themselves. Now it is a general reading, as you guys know, uh, so messages may not resonate with everyone out there. I encourage you to check your sun, moon, rising, and Venus sign for additional messages. Um, and what else do I need to tell you? Everything you need to know will be in the dialogue box below. And yeah, thanks for joining me on my channel. I just started this channel. It's kind of brand new, still getting off the ground and running. So um, check out the social media too if you're into Instagram, the intuitive teacup. That's me. And yeah, we'll just get into it. For Libra, what can we get? And this is not date specific. Um, so yeah. Whenever you watch this message is when you're meant to. Damn, you had a lot. Okay. <clears throat> oh my gosh. Hey, Libra, you have so many. <clears throat> Okay, so escaping from something or someone um, <clears throat> to start over again on your own, um, wondering what your next path um, moving forward should be, and yeah, uh, putting an end to something, there, there was a closing of something that may have actually felt like a defeat. It didn't feel like a victorious closing because you do have the ten, 10 of Swords there. So it is like a death. It's like, um, <clears throat> yeah, a mental death. Letting, letting go of something that was very painful. Um, and it could be a person or people that you're leaving behind. I think this is you, Libra, of the Sword energy. Um, <clears throat> now, you do have the Sun card right in the middle here. So it could be dealing with a Libra. I'm sorry, not a Libra, a Leo. <clears throat> or possibly a Virgo. Now the energy coming off those cards are obviously um, more, more positive um, in their energy. So you getting away, <clears throat> it's almost like you were exerting your strength. It is the Sun card, but because it's tied to Leo, you, it did show a great amount of strength to be able to leave this situation that I think you, tuit you intuitively knew there was something, there was something wrong with it. There was something sketchy um, there were people making poor decisions. It could have been persons, I, I say people, but yeah, um, it's like you needed to sever ties and get away <clears throat> in order to, in order to grow individually and on your own. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, there's, there's a really great sense of freedom. And I think you're, you're looking back on your past struggles triumphantly. Um, and with great pride, knowing that you, you did make the right move. Um, but there is, there is a sense of it was really unfortunate that whatever that was had to come to kind of such an ugly death. Um, and it may have just been, um, it may have been just some energy was just sucking you dry. It's like you were giving your all and it was never enough. Um, but now that you've left, you have decisions to make, um, which is an exciting time, but I, I definitely sense that there's a little bit of hesitation. Um, I think maybe you're trying to get guidance from those around you or even potentially from, from the universe, from spirit. <clears throat> but yeah, um... I think you're considering what, what path you want to take. Now, this could be a past energy. You had, you had literally 15 cards fly out. I've been doing like six generally for each one, but clearly there were messages that needed to come out for the Libras. So <clears throat> we'll, we'll kind of see where this goes from there.
So there's a new opportunity to, it might be join up with a company and you're, you're doing some investigating on it. Um, you may have even gone in for a job interview and um, like they potentially like took you around to, to introduce you to, you know, maybe future coworkers or people. Um, and you didn't get the best vibe from, from whatever, um, place this was, there was like a coldness of the people and you sensed that there was something going on like underneath the facade maybe of what was being presented to you. And so I think you are not making a move, um, <clears throat> Yeah, you're not making a sudden movement. There, yeah, there's something about like shadowy secrets. Um, and yeah, if, if it is a relationship ask, I think you're just content being on your own. You're not looking to rush into anything love or career wise, really. Um, yeah, but whatever, it's like whatever is welcoming you in the door that you're kind of suspicious of, this new opportunity. I'll show you some of the cards here. Um, the Pentacles, it could be work-related. <clears throat> yeah, there's something about trickery. This is the fool in this deck. I'm sorry, not the fool, the magician in this deck. He's got his tools on the table there. But you're suspicious of this because this is your energy, Libra. It's like you're looking and you're, it's like you're holding your torch to get a closer look, to shed more light on the situation. But the, these are the people that you've met or come in contact with and clearly like something happened to this person. This is the Three of Pentacles. So typically a card of, of building, of teamwork, of coming together. But you're highly, yeah, you're highly suspicious of something. Again, there's, there's just this false like a facade or something. Now you have the King of Pentacles and I feel like this is your energy, Libra. Like you're, you're sitting back thinking about it, really taking in everything. Um, and you know, Pentacles are, they're slow growing, you know, seeds. It takes time. There's no rush there. Um, and it might be that financially you're doing okay on your own if, if that is it. You're definitely not wanting to get burned again in the past. So yeah, I don't know if it's just in, I don't know if it's indifference because there's some, there's something about suspicion here. Not knowing who to trust. But you, you're the person you can trust, Libra. <laughs> trust your intuition. My gosh, you have so many cards here. <clears throat> so what do we have? Okay, so, sorry, I know that was a long pause. Um, so for some of you, you may end up trying this out. If it is a job, you may end up trying this position out because you do have an emperor card. Um, very interesting depiction. Um, I think maybe you see potential in it. You see it opening opening up doors that you didn't have available to you, but I'm sort of getting that it's a trap. Um, even when you're there, even it's funny, like I think you got weird vibes going into it, but something about this does make it seem like 
you give it a try. And I mean, this is only going to be for some of you because we, we all have free will, right? So you may even be in the energy where you're already at this workplace, right? <clears throat> but you're on guard. It's like you're you're looking for little red flags or you're all ears. Um, you're examining everything because you are very serious about this career. You're very serious about about wanting to build, about wanting to grow. Um, what is this? It feels so career oriented, Libra. What is this? What did you get yourself involved with? So yeah, you're learning the ropes. You're, you're still new. You have the, uh, the page of swords. So like there's an intake of knowledge here. Um, <clears throat> I think you're seeking out as much information as you can get. And you may even have someone training you or you may be going through like an orientation. And yeah, even the vibes of the people that are like coaching you through it, they seem not tricky, but <sighs> smug. They seem smug. And so it's like when you go home at night, <clears throat> I think that, you know, you're thinking about your day and still kind of processing the information. Like you may even be going over your notes like a good good student. You know, you want to come in fresh the next day and remember everything that, that you were taught. But it's almost like you're looking for a sign from above. Like, is this for me? Because like there's something about it that's that I don't know if you're losing hope or faith, but. You're, you're wishing, you're wanting it to be something, something really good, but you, yeah, you may have jumped too fast. Um, so maybe finances weren't good. And so this was a, ne a necessary, um, you know, position just to take it because it was offered to you. Um, but then someone gets real with you and I don't, I feel like this might be a coworker that you form like some sort of connection with like, you know, in the bathroom you meet like washing your hands or, you know, you meet in like the lunch line or, or something like that. And this person isn't, they're not as, I, I want to say seedy as some of the other people you've kind of been observing in the office. This person seems to, they've taken a liking to you. Um, and it, it feels more a little bit more nurturing, like they get it, like you're learning the ropes, Libra, and so they're cutting you some slack of like, okay, I'm going to be nice to the, the new guy in the office or the new girl in the office. It could be a Sagittarius. Um, you have the temperance card. Uh, could also potentially be an Aquarius or an Aries, maybe. But more so Sagittarian energy, if that means anything. <clears throat> so they're sitting you down, Libra, and they're giving it to you straight. <laughs> It's like they're literally like fixing you a drink like during lunch hour. It's like they have booze in their desk and like they're getting real with you and like they're, they're like they're cool. They got like a cool vibe about them. But but potentially um, there's someone there's someone who doesn't follow the rules is what I'm saying. Um, now, I'm not getting anything evil about this energy. It's more, though, that they're warning you of like, listen, if you're going to get involved with this company, you need to know X, Y, and Z. Or, or it's like they're telling you about the person you replaced and what happened to them. And yeah, like it just, I, I actually do like the energy because I think they're giving you that, that warning or that sign that you are wanting. This is you like wanting a sign or wanting some communication about your path. So if, if it's not coming from like, the universe like in in your thoughts or when you when you pray or when you meditate it's almost like this person has been sent to you to to be real with you <clears throat> it's very interesting this could even be in a dream you have because there is something about like uh, this this is going to sound weird but it's I'm, it's just what i'm picking up on there's something about this person where they don't interact a lot with the rest of the office. So when you have one-to-one -one, like FaceTime with them, it feels so very personal, very much in the way of like in a movie at the end when you find out like the whole time they were a ghost. It has that sense about it. It's like you see them, but does everybody else see them? So it might literally be like a spirit or like some sort of guardian angel like in, in disguise. Um, that's only going to be for a few of you, but... 
there's something about this energy. It's very like kind of otherworldly and it's so different from everything else that's around you. Just the presence of this. And like I'm saying, it, it is a nurturing energy. It's like, come here, come here, honey. Let me sit you down and tell you the truth here. And so this is what, what, what essentially they're telling you. Like, this place is going to shackle you, Libra. Like, this is kind of a hellhole. Your boss could be a Capricorn, potentially, but that's that's the devil card, right? So, yeah, it's like, it's like the, the people who work here are, it's, uh, yeah, it's, an, it's a yucky energy. <clears throat> Lower vibration, people aren't happy, people are being overworked, people are not being paid fairly. There may be, like, illegal shit going on and flying under the radar, um, and so I actually don't know if this King of Pentacles is you. It could be someone, it could be someone you're working for. Um, and that you may have even been hired Libra because this person finds you like sexually attractive. Like, so like hired under false pretenses of like, yeah, sure. You're qualified or excited to have you, but it's like, they may be making advances towards you. Um, it's a trap, Libra. It's a trap. <laughs> no, I mean, not not to put fear in your heart, but yeah, if you're already in a situation and this this is resonating at all, it's not a good fit, Libra. Like, you can, you can get out of there. And so I'm actually wondering, oh, okay. So this line I was reading at the beginning, sometimes the, the timelines are not as straightforward of like past, present, future, right? It doesn't always work out that way. So this top line that I read for you, that's almost your guidance. So it's like, you need to sneak out and get away because this isn't good for you. You need to go off and be on your own and find some other job. You're going to be looking back and like kind of relieved and bathed in, in good energy and good light now that you've escaped whatever this is, which is this whole spread. Then you're seeking like a new path to go and like just, um, yeah, severing ties. It, it, it's, I don't know if it's a mental death, but. I think this is the potential of what it could have been. It was like, had you gone, because this is the two of wands, it's like, had you gone down one path, you had this, but since you chose to escape it, you, you're here. So you may still, if you, if you get out of the situation, you may still be a little bit confused about, all right, well, where do I go from here? But the sun is shining, the grass is green, like the, um, the, the land is fruitful, like you're gonna be able to rebuild and grow. Um, yeah, so it's like this first line of escaping um, with the Seven of Swords. It's not like dirty mental tricks, liar, cheater, thief on your part, Libra. It's absolutely whoever these these shadowy figures are. And yeah, there's a lot of them. Let me just show you some of the, some of the cards. All these kind of shadowy figures are people that you're, you were running into. And it was like, especially this, it was like, come on in, welcome, welcome. But there's trickery, he's got tools. There's something shady going on. It's like you're literally being uh, hunted. You may have used a head hunter, right, to get this job. Um, and yeah, of course they reached out to you because it like no offense, but it's like they'll take anyone because whatever this is, it's like a scheme. It's um, I don't know why I just got pyramid scheme, but it could. It, yeah, it could just be shady, shady dealings with money or whatever. And yeah, there's there's devil energy here. It's just not good energy. It's just not good. Um, so yeah, I, I would say, um, be on your own for a bit, Libra. Um, if you're considering going into work for yourself or if you have like a fallback job, if like you can work for a family member or, you know, just, just take kind of like an, an in-betweener job, but this, this is not the one. Um, it was so career focused. Very interesting. <laughs> yeah. So, um, your bottom energy is, uh, death transformation, um, and it, death isn't always bad. Sometimes death is a really beautiful card to get because it does show change. It shows transition into something else. Um, here it's, yeah, it's just like, get out of there, Libra. Don't, yeah. Scorpionic energy, but I don't really think that's um, super relevant here. I mean, it, it could be. You do have a lot of major arcana, though, more so than, I mean, you, granted, you had a lot more cards, Libra, but you have more major arcana than any other spread got. You had the sun, you had temperance, you had the devil, you had the star, you had the emperor, and the and yeah, and death. Very interesting. 
All right, we'll pull a moon card for you. I'm interested to see what, what card will go along. What card can we get for Libra for this spread, please? What card can we get for Libra? <clears throat> Be bold and make the first move, Cardinal Moon. So you are a cardinal sign, Libra. So you are able to change. Um, you know, you're not you're not fixed, um, but you're not mutable. So you're somewhere in the middle. So it does show that maybe sometimes you do have to test out a situation and you know adapt, get a little bit comfortable before you decide to make decide to make that move forward. And you actually you had two come out again. So funny. A new start is coming. Yeah. So this could have been a new start, but it's going to be short term because I think you're going to book it. You know that something isn't right here. Um, but, uh, you know, have faith, have hope, because something clearly, something is going to replace this. And to be really honest, this feels like a test, Libra. This feels like a test from the universe of, like, knowing your self-worth and not tolerating bullshit. And when those little red flags pop up in your head, like, you're an air sign. You're, like, you got it. You have, like, incredible, um, like, m like mental capacity to kind of see through things and, and understand knowledge and, and interpret things that are being thrown at you. When those red flags pop up, listen to them, Libra. I think that's what this is about. And I'm interested to know who this person is. Is it a dream? Is it a coworker? Yeah, I would, I would hang out with this, this temperance figure, maybe a Sagittarian. Uh, anyway, that's what I have for you, Libras. Um, thank you so much for joining me. Like, share, subscribe if you want to see more, and I will see you guys mid-month for more checkups. Bye, guys.